Cool. And welcome back to 90 Minutes Live in association with Easy Shelf. We are at the Erie in Bedfordshire and just about to get the second half on the way between Biggles Wade and Ware and the first half. Well, I thought Halloween was on Tuesday, but uh, horror show had game early from uh, Paul Halsey's team. They trail there by three goals to nil at uh, half time as Biggles Wade get us back underway. Kicking from right to left. Bright sun in our faces, which has been about the only good bit about the day so far. Looking at the uh, wear line, I would have expected some changes at half time, and indeed they have made uh, changes at uh, half time. Well, uh, Declan and Shea is out in front of me and uh, he's sling in at uh, right back Matt Walsh has gone off in an absolute nightmare first half making his uh, first appearance of the season at uh, left back so that's the one change that uh, Ware have made at uh, half time and uh, can only surmise from that Stefanos Giorgio is uh, still unfit and therefore not able to uh, come on to the pitch despite the fact he's been named as one of the substitutes and uh, the other three of course as George Bailey goes through and uh, Lewis Rose just thumps it out of play on this near side and the other uh, substitutes Richard Emin has uh, come on he's uh, just uh, so the substitution Matt Walsh been replaced by uh, Declan and Shea who will wear 12. So uh, where's line-up? Freddie Burbage uh, in goal. I'll just break as uh, once more Bigglesway coming forward with George Bailey. Rolls it across the park. Shot from Michael Simpson. Well saved by the feet of Fred Burbage. So where could have been even further behind there. Good save by Fred with his feet. You can't. You can't blame him for uh, any of the goals which have gone in. But, uh, throwing to be taken on that far side and it's Biggles way to starting off the way they've finished the first half putting Ware under pressure Fred Burbage bowls it out on this near side to Joe Dearman Joe has uh, looked bright one of the few Ware players that has plays the ball down the right for Ramiah Mills it gets it all wrong and the ball will go out of play for a throw in so Fred Burbage in goal now a back four of David Soder at left back Dan Romans and uh, Lewis Rose in the centre of defence. Declan and Shea now slotting in at right back. Freddie Moncur and Mitch Hahn, who are the uh, central midfield duo. Jack Dreher plays just in front of them, behind the front three, which has uh, Liam Dolson on the left, John, Joe Dearman on the right, and Ramiah Mills through the middle. So that's the uh, line-up. For a side that well, I note that uh, oh, Halsey's dog is here actually, the manager's dog. And uh, the way we're played in the first half, I thought even he might get a game. Those four feet might be better than uh, what we're produced. Let's hope they can produce something in this second half. Long ball looking for the dangerous Alex Marsh. Is Liam Dolson not been in the game? Well, he's top scorer, but he might be now. But uh, Mills doesn't get there, and Laurie Marsh manages to. Uh, clear the ball for a Biggleswade side who've uh, impressed said in the first half haven't had a lot to beat but they've done it well you can only beat what's in front of you and uh, certainly when they've uh, been beaten at home here by AFC Dunstable Northley and Waltham Abbey in succession he's uh, one of the supporters who walked past me was uh, had a big smile on his face and said unbelievable so I don't know whether it is but they're coming forward here again George Bailey Plays the ball inside to uh, Michael Simpson. Simpson's ball gives Bailey too much to do. And Fred Burbage will come out and uh, collect it. Fred on his near side to uh, Joe Dearman. Brings in uh, Freddie Moncur. He's put under immediate pressure by Alex Marsh. But turns away from him. Here's Jack Dreyer. Far side, David Sota. Sota's got uh, Liam Dolson outside him. That's who he finds. Dolson. Puts the ball across, but uh, in the end it takes a deflection and he'll land at the feet of George Bailey midway inside his own half. Does well, shields it and finds the Matos. 
Plays the ball in for uh, Michael Simpson. Back to the Matos again. Across the box this time for Laurie Marsh. Long ball on that far side and uh, lands just the other side of the Ware dugout. Our, uh, Paul Halsey is prowling. Be interesting to see what he said at half time, but uh, family show. So I doubt we'll be able to repeat much of it as uh, Lewis Rose brings the ball up. We're a skipper. Lewis gets it back from Declan and Shay. Forward to Joe Dearman on the halfway line. Joe controls it well as Declan again. Slotting in the unfamiliar right back role for a midfield player, but uh, looks more at home at right back than Matt Walsh to do at left back. Ball on the far side for uh, David Sota, fitting in at uh, left back. Brings in Liam Dolson, a little bit of possession, I haven't seen much of that from where. So far, who's Declan and Shea back to uh, Lewis Rose. Lewis chips the ball forward, rather hopefully. The Mantos lets it run, Laurie Marsh has to get there before Ramaya Mills and does so fairly easily. So again... That's a move that uh, comes to nothing as far as uh, we are concerned. I was going to tell you actually, wasn't I, at half time, where we're going to be uh, in the coming week. Well, Wednesday night is a big night for uh, Wes Youth Team in the first round of the FA Youth Cup. And um, they're entertaining Gillingham. It's a seven o'clock kickoff, so a little bit early. And Mrs. H will have to put the tea on early. And uh, Simon and I will be live at Watson Bark from uh, 6.55 to bring you that. Looking forward to that one very much. And uh, this time next week, looking forward to uh, going to the Smile IT Stadium as well, where uh, Hartford's young team, who've thumped 10 in in their last two games, will be taking on North Lee. That could be a very interesting wow. afternoon. That's where we'll be this time uh, next week. Meanwhile, business to conclude here and see whether Ware can uh, get themselves back into a game which they trail by three goals to nil. Jack Drought for Freddie Moncur, a nice one too, but uh, Tom Coles gets in the way and then thumps it forward. I've seen a couple of goals from that range this season. Wilson Burnell for uh, Hartford and James Koloski for uh, Welling Garden City. But that one went uh, just behind, so... Uh, and, uh, don't like the look of the ball on that far side, evidently. So uh, a new one is going to uh, be called for. Attendance this afternoon here at the Erie 145. And, uh, certainly a few of them, I'm sure, I'll be following back down the A603 Today's and uh, down the A1. 145, we, uh, 145. Make our way Thank you very much for your attendance today. To Look forward to seeing many of you Lewis on Rice. Wednesday night when we play Bedford Town here. Near. Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. Is uh, Declan and Shea, Jack Dreyer. Tries to send Ramaya Mills on this near side against the Matos. The Matos is trying to shepherd the ball out of play and does well under considerable pressure from uh, Ramaya Mills. Just uh, been reminded because they got a big derby here on Wednesday night, of course, in the Gambit Cup. And uh, they take on Biggleswade Town. The uh, interesting one is uh, Declan and Shea. It's the ball forward for my meals will let it go. And once again, all comes to nothing as far as we're concerned. Eight minutes into the second half here on 90 Minutes Live in association with uh, Easy Shelf. I know Simon's listening this afternoon. You, uh, I think I drew the short straw there. You got to miss that first half, mate. And I think uh, probably a good job you did as we performed as poorly as I've seen them all season. And at the moment, not showing too many signs of doing much about it. As uh, on the halfway line, Martucci heads it forward. Dan Vaughan gets in the way of that high up and under. And Joe Dearman puts Laurie Marsh under pressure and wins where a throw in. I think Joe Dearman is the one that's uh, perhaps obscure, uh, has uh, excused a little bit of criticism. He has tried hard down this right hand side. Looks where his best player so far. Not a lot to beat, but. Uh, Joe has performed well. He gets the ball back off Mitch Hahn. Puts the ball across the box. That's a decent cross. Dreyer can't get a hold of it. Lewis Rose will try and bring in Liam Dolson on that far side. He's under pressure by Alex Marsh. And then wrestles Alex Marsh to the ground. And, uh, it's going to be a free kick 
to uh, Beggles Way. Midway in some of the uh, way and a half from that uh, far side of the field. Free kick. Uh, well, Beggles Way don't have to take too much time really, do they? In the uh, fact, they've got a comfortable three goal advantage. It's Adam Tilson who's going to take it from uh, just inside his own half. And, uh, on this near side, George Bailey has got a uh, lot of room. Declan Shea keeps looking across, but uh, hasn't picked up the number 11. Alex Marsh plays the ball back. Hunt gets it across the box. Oh, and Shea missed his header. And uh, I think he put uh, George Bailey off behind him because uh, both of them miss the ball in the end and we end up with a throw-in on this uh, near side of the field. Look at where you team, by the way. Two of them on the bench this afternoon. Tom Gay and Gabriel Champs. They've both been uh, very important in uh, what has run in the FA Youth Cup. Although uh, six nil win they had in the last round. They've got so six separate goal scorers. As uh, Dan Romans miscues the ball, not for the first time this afternoon. And it goes out midway inside the Biggles way to half. Let's pick up much momentum this second half, but from a uh, bigger's weight point of view, it doesn't have to, because uh, 12th place in the table they were this morning. will likely increase on that, as far as we're concerned. Well, it will depend what's happening elsewhere as to uh, whether they will drop out of the top five. As uh, nice. here on this point is Alex Marsh again. Nice little back heel brings in Simpson, chips the ball across to the edge of the area and then Shea's there and just volleys it out of play for a throw in on the far side. Taken quickly by Simpson to Hunt. This controls it a little bit, allows uh, Liam Dolson to get back on. Alex Marsh tries the back heel once too often there. And uh, Jack Dreyer will bring in on this near side Joe Dearman. Real possibility for wear here. Jack Dreyer's breaking through the box. Dearman's ball is a poor one, and Laurie Marsh reads it very, very easily and comes away. Oh, Despairing challenge by Mitch Arn. And uh, the referee is going to book Mitch here, I think, and give a free gig, is he? Because if Mitch would have uh, connected there, then the guard would have been of the red variety. And little doubt it's going to be of the yellow variety. Would you believe that's eight bookings this season for Mitch Hahn? So, uh, Does that mean he's not very good at tackling? <laughs> <laughs> don't know if you heard that. I refuse to comment. But, uh, it's a uh, free kick on the halfway line. He's a lucky boy because he could have been wearing his second red guard in a week, certainly, if he connected there. As Paul comes out this near oh, side, Bailey is brought down by oh. Declan and Shea, isn't he? Well, George Bailey thumps the serve. I've got a feel I thought he had a very kick there. But uh, it's uh, the ball back inside his own half with Laurie Marsh. Long ball forward for the on running Alex, but uh, couldn't get there. Fred Burbage is out. Made a couple of decent saves as Fred. But uh, also let that one go in the first half when misjudged think they came off the goalpost. Lewis throws forward, miscontrolled by Joe Demon, but does well to get it back. Joe's pulled down from behind by George Bailey. And uh, well, will have themselves a free kick. Joe's gone down in a heap, crutching his right knee. And the referee is about to produce another yellow card. Looks like uh, it's going to go by way of the number 11, George Bailey, who's going to get himself in the referee's book for that. I think it was a little bit of frustration as he's pointing out the uh, challenge by uh, Declan and Shea that he felt should have been a free kick at the other end. And uh, once more pointing that way, the referee's not going to change his mind though. And Mitch Hahn will take the free kick for where? Right in front of our commentary position here. Curls it in, up his Stan Romans, his Ramaya Mills, miss hits it well wide. Of the target, Paul Hussey, Joe O'Brien, and Gavin Goon in conversation on that far side. Benny for the thoughts, not going to be bright. So the way this one's gone so far, they'll be uh, saying, "Do we, do we have to do we have to see the A603 again this season?" Certainly hope they don't. But, uh, free kick or goal kick rather taken by Tyler Josephs. Up in the air goes Dan Rumans. Further on by Mitch Hahn. Freddie Monk Kerr gets himself involved. So does Jack Dreyer. But in the end, it's Michael Simpson who appears with the ball. Finds Alex Marsh for Adam Hunt. Hunt puts the ball inside for Simpson again. 
aware I've got the pliers there, but not causing too many problems. This time they did, though. Liam Dogsman wins the ball away. And it's all getting a bit scrappy on that far side as Tilson gets his head to it and Tom Goals will put it all the way back to the goalkeeper Josephs. Long kick forward. Looking for Alex Marsh who shields it away from David Sota. And uh, Freddie Moncur, well, avoided one challenge but because they'd have got the ball back with Adam Hunt on that far side. Here is Alex Marsh yet again down the line looking for Hunt who... Uh, got David Soter, his fellow number two there with him. Hunt turns inside Soter, still keeps the ball in. He's inside the area here. It's Freddie Moncur to the edge of the area. Simpson scuffs his shot off of Lewis Rose, but uh, still in possession. Tom Coles fires one in, and there wasn't much in that. Did go far wide from the number 10. Five goals so far he's got this season. Fairly close to number six there. But uh, Fred Burbage was happy to see that one go wide of the target. No change on the wear bench, so uh, not much looking. Although, having said that, there's a couple of uh, substitutes. The two youngsters, Con Gay and uh, Gabriel Chapsu, now have uh, started to warm up. As well, win themselves a throw-in on that uh, far side of the field. And it looks like... Uh, there is going to be, uh, well, in fact, uh, no the subs are still there. It's actually David Soter who was bent down by the bench. That fooled me. He will take the throw in, volleyed clear by Adam Hunt. And Lewis Rose will pick it up inside his own half on this near side for Declan and Shea. And Shea turns inside George Bailey. So Bailey George. gets a good tackle in, but uh, Freddie Monk uh, picks up the scraps. Joe Demon can't collect it. And the Matos all gives it away to Jack Dreyer, who's muscled off the ball by Michael Simpson. The story of Ware's game so far has physically not been at the, race, at the races and certainly haven't given anything for uh, Tyler Joseph to worry about in that uh, Biggles Way goal. 17 minutes, second half gone. Biggles Way does over at half time, lead 3 0. And it doesn't seem much that's going to change about that. As Simpson pushes the ball forward for Adam Hunt. Another back here all this time. Uh, Alex Marsh can't get on to the end of it, but uh, Dan Rumans has aimed for the trees again on that far side. The ball bounces down off a branch and will uh, restart with a throw in. A couple of biggest way subs uh, warming up. Got a few subs warming up at the moment. So uh, and there's uh, a little bit of treatment for Michael Simpson over on uh, that uh, far side who's uh, gone down and uh, not quite sure what the problem was there but, uh, Michael Simpson is uh, getting attention so uh, the game is uh, being stopped there's uh, a couple of where players take uh, a little bit of refreshment on on that uh, Far side in front of the dugout, and the uh, Biggles way to have an impromptu coaching session as uh, tends to happen when players go down. Simpson's back up though and will uh, reappear as the throw comes in and finds Alex Marsh all across. Looking for George Bailey. Bailey goes around one, but Shea is an immovable object in his way and bounces off him. But uh, Biggles way to have quickly got the ball back. Tom Gull's far side looking for the Overlapping Adam Hunt brings it down, chips it across the area. A good header by uh, Lewis Rose gets in the way in the end as Dan Bond was fancying his second of the game. And Biggles Wade will have themselves their fourth corner. Far side of the field, the teenager, Rio Martucci, who is going to take the corner. Big Adam Tilson's coming up from the back where have uh, kept three forward here. Corner's taken short by Adam Hunt. Hunt on the edge of the area. Looks to get it on the uh, right foot. Pulls it across the area and Lewis Rose reads it and where will clear. Joe Demon though still deep inside of his own half. Onto the left foot. Long ball forward. Looking for Liam Dolson. He looks to get the other side of Simpson but can't make it. And the ball will go behind for a throw in. Throw in... Uh, to be taken midway inside the uh, Biggles Wade at half. 
All the goals in the first half, 10th, 23rd and 33rd minutes. Two for Alex Marsh, one of them from the penalty spot. And the opener after the 10 minutes header from Dan Bond. And Wes experiment of playing Matt Walsh at uh, left back went horribly wrong. And certainly culpable for two of the three goals. But uh, can't blame him too much, he's a striker. His uh, ball threaded forward here. De Matos gets his head there first and puts the ball out for a throw in to Ware. Joe Demon wants to take it quickly. He's one of the few Ware players showing too much urgency. Who's Declan and Shea gets caught under his foot but manages to recover and bring in Mitch Hahn. He finds David Soter, Freddie Moncur. Looks up, looking for the movement, can't find much, plays it to Mitch Hahn. Gets the ball back again. Freddie's going to have to go all the way back to Dan Rumors. <coughs> Declan and Shea on this uh, right-hand side. And Shea coming forward. Plays it inside for Ramiah Mills. Mills goes through two defenders, then goes down, but Joe Dearman will collect the ball on this near side. Bring in Declan and Shea, and in the end it bounces off of uh, Laurie Marsh and off of Unshay and, and goes behind for a throw in to uh, Biggleswade I think we had a suspicion they might have had a free kick in the centre of that move but uh, nothing doing from our referee Edgar Brown Joseph's from the goal away to our right hand side onto Alex Marsh on the halfway line ball on that far side picked up by uh, Adam Hunt Plays the ball down the line, looking for Alex Marsh. Almost scuffs his cross, yeah. but it was good enough to find Dan Bond, who scores his second of the afternoon and puts this one, if there was any doubt, totally beyond it. 21 minutes, second and a half gone here. In the 66th minute. Bigglesweight score, number four. And away Fourth goal well, for Bigglesweight. What can I say? And second goal for number... Number nine, Dan Bond. That's his second one of the game. Once again, another cross undoing where we're about to make a substitution on that final side. Ramiah Mills is going to go off, and young Gabriel Chaps is going to come on for some more experience. The uh, 17 year old. And uh, well, why not? Because they're not going to get anything out of this game. But the one thing they get out of this game is a little bit of experience for uh, one of their most promising youth players. Then. Uh, Perhaps that's uh, a good idea. Where? Off number nine. Well beaten there. Where? Trail 4 0. They've conceded 11 goals in two games here. And so, on number 14. Uh, that turning off the A1. Gabriel I'm Chaps. sure everyone's going to start shaking when they go past it for uh, the rest of the season. They're not going to want to be seen at the Erie. That's for sure. Joseph's up in the air. Had very little to do, the goalkeeper. On by Dan Romans. And uh, Simpson was well, robbed of it by Mitch Hart. Mitch turns and on this near side will bring in Declan and Shea. Worth saying again, five unbeaten and only one conceded before this afternoon. Makes you wonder how that occurred the way they played here. But uh, that was the record. But, uh, the record has had a severe denting by Biggleswade this afternoon. Here's Declan and Shea. And Shea back inside his own half for uh, Lewis Rose. There's Freddie Moncur forward. Mitch Hahn turns outside of Tom Coles and just, uh, well, don't know if that would go down with the statisticians as a shot on target, but uh, it, it was close. One, uh, one bounce and uh, into the arms of Tyler Joseph. There's uh, Declan and Shea, Freddie Moncur. And Kerr forward for a first touch for Gabriel Chaps. Here is the youngster, oh. fires in the shot. And that's probably where his best effort comes with his first touch, the 17-year-old. And uh, Coles won just wide, and under Josephs did have to watch that one. So promise shown by the young man. Scored a hatful for the youth team. He'll be in action on Wednesday night, and we'll be at Watson Bank cheering them on in the first round of the FA Youth Cup against uh, Gillingham. Quite some feather in the young wear cap that would be. If, uh, they've got a very young side as well. Got a few who will still be in the FA Youth Cup this time next year. So uh, it's Kevin Coon, who's part of the coaching team, told us last week that uh, he was proud of them doing so well with such a young team. 
and we'll be there to uh, provide live commentary on them on Wednesday evening from uh, 6.55 here on 90 Minutes Live in association with Easy Shelf. I miss much action as uh, the biggest way they've got to throw in on this uh, near side. The Matos will uh, take it. Gets it back again for uh, our sushi. There might be some home changes possibly coming up, but uh, because we're going forward again, this time it's Dan Rumens who gets in the way. Declan and Shea's uh, shrugged aside by the youngster on this near side, and Joe Dearman has to uh, help him out, and uh, in the end, Dearman goes down, and that's a free kick to where, deep inside their own half, which they take quickly and almost make a complete Horlix off, but uh, in the end... Fred Burbage comes out and clears the ball away. Symptomatic of an afternoon here. Where have never got going. So, uh, might be interesting trying to catch Paul Halsey after this because he might be in that minibus and down the A1 before I can blink because uh, nobody's going to want to stick around here. Some glum faces on the uh, go the way well right. There's a smattering of uh, wear supporters. As uh, Liam Dalton keeps the ball in on the halfway line. Not a 100th appearance he will want to remember. As Freddie Munker picks up the ball, finds uh, Mitch Hahn inside the centre circle. Mitch, given time to turn by Tom Goals, brings in Declan and Shea. Mitch will get it back again. And once again, it's this slow build-up, which because I had plenty of players behind the ball. As uh, the ball is pushed forward, Jack Dre hits the turf. Uh, Laurie Marsh with the tackle. That's no way to treat one of your old teammates, is it? But uh, thumped into him there. But uh, ball given the way. Lewis Rose will collect it. And uh, referee, meanwhile, has signalled a foul. And uh, he's going to give uh, Biggles Wade a free kick. Jack Dreyer is back up. Hasn't been in the game, to be fair. And uh, he's had that kind of season. He's played well at home. But uh, when he's been given the platform to do so, Certainly not been given the platform uh, this afternoon at all. As well as number 10. It's going to be Biggleswade's number 10 who's going to take the kick, I think. Tom Goals. Who uh, won't take it quickly and now substitution's <laughs> going to be made. He glares daggers across at the uh, bench. Substitution is uh, substitution going to be Michael Simpson off. who's going to come off. Michael Simpson. He's had a Come solid on, game. Welcome. Oliver Snaith. And Oliver Snaith is going to take his place. So Michael Simpson goes off. And Oliver Snaith will uh, come on. As, uh, first thing he's going to do is take the free kick, I think. Or is he going to leave it to Laurie Marsh? No, he's going to take it. Diminutive player. Chips the ball towards the edge of the area and Shea's yes. beaten to it by Tom oh. Coles and only a touch by Dan Rumans. Stop the ball going all the way for Dan Bond who would have had an easy header in for the hat trick. But, so they've got a corner which they're going to take uh, very quickly as uh, Alex Marsh puts across the area well saved by Fred Burbage with his feet. Tom Kay is about to make his way a debut. Another promising youngster on that uh, far side Paul Halsey had hoped to play them last week but uh, in such a tight game against Stockfold said to us afterwards that uh, he couldn't uh, put the boys on or well, one of them's going to go with another run out here we've got uh, Gabriel Chaps out here and we're about to get Tom Kay on and it's going to be Jack Breyer who I was mentioning who's uh, about to come Four off going off number so 10 Jack Breyer uh, where have cleared the bench and uh, two promising youngsters will come on. Tom Kay is the latest one. You come on into uh, Tom Kay will come on in that uh, midfield on position. 16, Tom Kay. A little bit of a little bit of a uh, like for like. As young Tom will come on. Gabriel Chaps does well. Wins the ball and Joe Dearman's got it on this uh, near side. Joe turning with the Matos there. Chipping at his ankles and in the end chipping a little bit too heavily. And uh, gives away a free kick. It's been taken well. It's almost a corner on this near side. 16 minutes left of the game. 
Biggers wait for where nil. And those 16 minutes won't go fast enough for Paul Wolsey and his team. But uh, try and get some kind of consolation with Joe Dearman taking the kick right down by the near side corner flag. Joe's kick comes in. It's a decent one whipped in and it's well cleared in the end. I think by Tom Goles who got it away. And uh, a little bit further down the line he's oh, oh, put through by Adam Hunt, but I think you'll find that uh, there would have been an offside flag up as Freddie Moncur goes down and the challenge from Tom Goals, who's going to get a book in here, is he? Looks like it. Tom Goals is uh, going to be the third man in the referee's notebook for that trip on Freddie Moncur. So well, we'll have a free kick. Midway inside Biggleswade at half on that uh, left-hand side. Yeah. Mitch Hahn is uh, the one who's going to take it. We're devoid of uh, that high up front now without Matt Walsh and uh, Ramaya Mills. So uh, Mitch is going to put a long one up. Looking for Dan Rumens on the far post. Can't get his head to it. And the ball goes harmlessly enough behind the goal for a goal kick. There's uh, another substitution about to be made. Dan Bond is not going to get the hat, hat trick because uh, he way. is about to go off. off. Number nine, Daniel and, Bond. Uh, Jordan Stevenson is about to come on. And coming and on, we uh, welcome our other new signing, Brady Baffle. So, uh, it's, uh, Jordan Stevenson, who's uh, about to come on, I think, wearing uh, the uh, 15 yeah. shirt. Sorry, it's number 15, Jordan Stevenson. So it's a central striker for uh, a striker, I think, prefers to play a little bit wider. So it looks like it'll mean Alex Marshall uh, go through the centre. It's kicked from Josephs downfield onto the head of Tom Kay and out by Dan Rumans, who looks for Joe Demon on this near side. Joe controls the ball well, brings in Mitch Hahn. Which is beaten to it and fairly easily as well. But uh, in the end, Declan and Shea stops George Bailey advancing further down this near side touchline. And uh, because Wade will get a throw, which uh, their left back, Miguel Lopez de Matos, will take. Be, uh, worth a few bob with the name on the back of his shirt as uh, Declan and Shea on this near side. A bit of a battle with George Bailey since he came on. Got it clear that time, but Joe Dearman has dragged it out of play. And it will be a throw in, which uh, Biggles Wade will take with uh, Dos Matos. 13 minutes to go for uh, full time here. Don't forget to put your clocks back tonight. I think that's one of the bright sparks out of this, that we will get an extra hour in bed. But, uh, won't be dreaming about this one, that's for sure, as uh, De Matos will uh, take the throw in for Biggleswade and it's Marsh he's been excellent this afternoon gets himself into the area yet again and we've finally managed to get it clear through Joe Dearman Tom Hayes done well to uh, get the ball back but uh, Tom Cole's over his head and straight into the arms of an advancing Fred Burbage Fred's long kick forward and for Gabriel Chaps who's beaten in the air by Laurie Marsh and the ball will go back to uh, the goalkeeper Tyler Josephs and uh, he just controls the ball away from uh, Gabriel Chaps. So we'll be at Watson Park on uh, Wednesday night, 6.55. 7 o'clock kick-off, where youth against uh, Gillingham. First round of the uh, FA Youth Cup. And then this time next week at Smile IT. And the rule for the second time this season over North Lee. As they take on our Hartford side, a really have hit form, Ben Erd's young team. Ten goals in uh, two games with the likes of Brian Garzon and uh, Wilson Burnell, both amongst the goals. And uh, also Sendedge, of course, who got a hat-trick this time uh, last week against Home United. Looking forward to getting there. Always looking forward to the donuts at half-time as well. As uh, Adam Hunt will take the throw in for Biggerswade. Sun has just started to, uh, to drop down now. 
and uh, suddenly it does begin to feel like October. It's a bit of an autumnal chill. Good ball by uh, Tom Gay brings in uh, Joe Dearman. Dearman on the left foot for uh, Liam Dolson. Liam back for uh, Joe Dearman on that far side. That's a turn away as well. And shows he can use both feet with effect as he puts it back to Freddie Burbage with his right. Lewis throws forward for uh, Freddie Moncur. Lewis again plays the ball for uh, Dan Rumens. Dan far side for uh, David Sota. Walking football at the moment from where, well, it has been most of the afternoon, if we're being fair, as uh, Lewis Rose puts it forward to Freddie Moncur. Lewis will get it back midway inside his own half. Looks for Freddie again inside the uh, centre circle. Far side, David Sota's got a bit of space. Goes down and plays it inside once again for Freddie Moncur. Brings in young Tom Kay. He does well to avoid Tom Goals. Put the ball back to Dan Romans. Long kick forward, Declan and Shea on the overlap. It's not going to get that in. And it's going to go out harmlessly enough for a goal kick. Run out of options here. Heads going down. Looking pretty disconsolate. Poor Aussie's team. It's unusual for them. They showed great spirit this time of last week. I mean, back with 10 men to draw with stop folded. A game that should really have won. Plenty of chances in the second half and playing with 10. But uh, this afternoon, they have certainly not been at the races. As uh, Dan Romans gets the ball forward to Tom Kay. He's settled in quite nicely as uh, another teenager came on as substitute. As uh, Liam Dalton goes on a run on the far side against Adam Hunt. Dolson turns inside, crosses the ball, nobody there as Joe Dearman had gone for the short one and uh, De Matos can clear it down the line over Declan and Shea and there's George Bailey, looks to get round Lewis Rose who does well and Dan Rumens will collect it on the halfway line. Mitch Hahn for Joe Dearman. Joe in under challenge from uh, De Matos and Tom Coles and it's Coles who emerges with the ball and it's Marsh coming back to uh, Laurie Marsh on the edge of the 18-yard box is uh, Boss Matos again he plays it all the way back to uh, goalkeeper Tyler Josephs and uh, we're at least providing a bit of a press with uh, Gabriel Chaps and Joe Dearman but it all comes to nothing the Dan Roman's chance to clear but again it's long and hopeful and uh, collected quite easily by uh, Biggleswey Kick forward by Tyler Josephs on that uh, far side. Up in the air goes Dan Romans. Freddie Moncur back to Lewis Rose. Another long eyeball. And uh, another bounce. It's a team that has been built to play a bit of football on the deck, but uh, certainly haven't got it going this afternoon. Certainly they've missed Darian Furlong. There's no doubt about that. One of the, uh, one of the classier centre-backs in Division 1 Central. And uh, his loss has been felt... Quite a lot by uh, Ware, also Stefano Studio, of course, which uh, forced uh, Matt Walsh to play at left back as oh, the ball flashes across the Ware six yard box by Adam Hunt. But uh, George Bailey couldn't quite get on terms with it. Biggers laid about to make their uh, final change of the afternoon. It's going to be George Bailey who uh, comes off, and it's going to be Jack Dickerson who will come on wearing 14. So uh, George Bailey, I'm sure, will get a uh, round of applause from the Biggest Wade fans. Yeah, Another solid, uh, solid game. Wade. Coming off number 11, George so, Bailey. Uh, and I'm pedantic about these things, but the, the rule does actually number say 14, that you've got to go off the touch line you're nearest. So George Bailey has come from one corner flag to the halfway line. Makes no difference at all because Biggest Wade are four up, but uh, it's always nice to see people obey the rules, which uh, didn't happen there. So uh, there you go. Moan over as uh, ball on this near side will be uh, throwing, taken by uh, Declan and Shea. Play a moan about this wear performance, and uh, Paul Woolsey, I'm sure, won't mince his words after this one. Sits there looking very glum. Will be uh, hopeful of the uh, nice, happy response he'll get from his dog when they're reunited. That's uh, going to be one of the few final smiling faces he's going to meet until he gets home. As, uh, on this near side, Mitch Hahn will take the throw in for Dan Rumens. 
looks for David Soter on the far side. Soter just dummies over the ball and then plays it inside to uh, Liam Dolson. Dolson back inside his own half for uh, Lewis Rose. Six minutes left. We're trailing 4-0 here on 90 Minutes Live in association with Easy Shelf. Another neat touch by young Tom Kay, who certainly doesn't look out of, uh, out of class at this level. As uh, Joe Demon picks the ball up on uh, half white, plays the ball back for Lewis Rose. A little bit of keep ball by Ware, big as way, don't worry. They lead 4 0, got plenty of men behind the ball. Who's Declan and Shea midway inside the uh, big as way to half? It's Freddie Moncur for Mitch Hahn again. Plenty of passes, no progress made, and in the end, Freddie Moncur just chips it out. And it goes away for a throw in. Symptomatic of the uh, half here. It's where his fortunes have uh, dipped as the temperature has here at the Erie on uh, an October afternoon. Last football uh, afternoon of October. One more match left for us, of course, comes uh, against Gillingham in the FA uh, Youth Cup on uh, Wednesday evening. Very much looking forward to that, as is young Tom Gay, who's just put the ball out here for a uh, throw in. Both he and uh, Gabriel Chaps will be involved in that one. And uh, the other uh, promising youngsters in uh, Wears Under 18 team have done their uh, club proud getting through to the first round of the FA Youth Cup. Forward by Dan Romans for uh, Mitch Hahn. It's his pick, pocket picked by uh, Tom Goals and Alex Marsh will find Coles again. Forward is that Alex Marsh on the halfway line. Freddie Monk Kerr gets it back for where is uh, young Tom Guy again. Neat in possession finds David Soter. Is K sends uh, Liam Dolson going down that left hand side. Liam Dolson, a chance to stretch here. Can he get it across the box? Well, we're uh, claiming a handball. It's a shot comes oh. in. And Tom K, it was. And as Gabriel Chaps did about 10 minutes ago, that wasn't too far away. They claim it a handball. They claim the handball behind. Uh, it was, diffi- it was difficult to see from here, to be honest, but uh, it, uh, with the scoreline at 4-0, wouldn't have made a lot of difference anyway. Had one penalty uh, at that end earlier on. Alex Marsh dispatched it after uh, 23 minutes. And uh, George Bailey, who's uh, subsequently been substituted, was pulled down by uh, Lewis Rose. Dan Romans heads it forward down that side for Liam Dolson as uh, Freddie Moncur further forward. Back out by Tilson, up goes uh, Tom Kay. Forward by uh, David Soter, forward by Tom Goals. Nobody at home and Freddie Burbage will come out and collect it. Three and a half minutes left, plus time added on the four uh, stoppages. I think the referee will be kind of aware, really. Not add any on, I don't think they want it, that's for sure as uh, Fred Burbage will bring in Declan and Shay. And Shay on to the halfway line for Joe Dearman. Joe Dearman uh, being policed by Jack Dickerson, one of uh, three substitutes for Biggers Wade. Dan Romans for uh, Lewis Rose. Lewis Rose forward for Tom Kay, back for uh, Dan Romans. It's this uh, comfortable keep ball, which uh, Biggleswade are very happy to let Ware do inside their own half, or just inside the Biggleswade half. Oh, challenge came in there by Dickerson. That's going to be a card. That's uh, a yellow card for the uh, number uh, 14. Really thumped into the challenge there, which has left David Soter, uh, well, momentarily down in a heap. David's up again, which is good. And uh, third booking. I think that's probably the only blotch on a pretty perfect copy book for Biggles Wade. Three players in the uh, referee's book this afternoon. Mitch Hahn, the wear player, booked. That's all intensive books. He's pretty lucky to still be out there. The, uh, connected with the challenge that got him a booking from the referee. Here's Mitch with a free kick. Time running out. As Mitch chips it forwards, up everybody goes. And on the far post, it was Gab Chaps who came in and uh, was preciously close to getting on the end of it. I mean, he's uh, produced two of the better moments for Ware, the 17-year-old, since he's uh, 
been introduced. We're into the last minute here at the Erie. Because we had good value for their 4-0 uh, advantage over Ware. And uh, Ware, well, back to the drawing board. We've got a week to uh, see what's on it. Training on Tuesday night will be interesting. And the Barton Rovers will appear at Wadsman Park this time next week. Far side of the field is Liam Dolson. Liam having a run against Adam Hunt, who's another one who's had a good game, fires in the shot, blocked by uh, three Biggers Wade defenders, and then he's lost out on the ball, and it's thumped clear by Tom Coles. Going to be, uh, well, I hope that's not 20 minutes. I think it means two. There was a two and a zero went up on the board <laughs> on the two far side. As, uh, Liam Dalton picks it up, shown. and... Uh, Freddie Moncur chips it across the box. Out by Tom Coles. Here's Joe Dearman on the edge of the box. David Soto perhaps a chance to get it across. Soto back to uh, Joe Dearman. Dearman down the line. David Soto will get the ball across and there's absolutely nobody there. That's Matos easy. Here's Tom Kay heads it back and Dickerson spews it out of play on this near side. In fact, uh, Declan and Shea will keep it in. And Shea... Chips the ball across the box, sat by Tilson, who hasn't missed much in the air this afternoon. And uh, Adam Hunt, chance to uh, take his time on that uh, far side. Down the line, Hunt will uh, get the ball back, then a uh, long one forward, looking for the on running Alex Marsh, but Rumens is in the way. Today's man and of the, the ball match. goes out the on way. the uh, far side. Chosen by Sharpness. So, uh, Man of the match uh, being announced here. Charlotte from Black Dog Pizza has just uh, given it the Tom Goals. The biggest eight number 10. He's had a solid game. Don't disagree with that. I think she had a difficult choice, actually, as a few she could have been. Alex Marsh would have been, Dan Bond would have been in there for me. So uh, Adam Hunt's had a solid game. So has Adam Tilson. In fact, it's probably not anybody that hasn't. Although the goalkeeper hasn't been tested, so we'll uh, reserve judgment on Tyler Josephs because he had a lot to do. But, uh, throw in for Biggleswade, far side of the field, approaching uh, the end of that second minute that our referee, Mr uh, Edgar Brown, added on. And, uh, in fact, that is the end of the match here at the area. It's finished, Biggleswade 4. Where Neil Paul Horsey's team not at the races from the 10th Central minute when Dan Bond scored his opening goal after uh, Where, 10 minutes. Where came with an experiment of playing Matt Walsh at left back with the injured Stefanos Giorgio, although named on the bench, not able to make an appearance. It was a cross from Biggleswade's right hand side, which found Bond in the box to thump home number one. It was 2 0 after 23 minutes. The lively George Bailey pulled down in the Next area by Lewis Rose. Bond had the ball in the back of the net, but uh, the referee pulled it back for the swap there. kick and Anish Marsh thumped it straight down the centre of the goal with Fred Burbage having uh, no chance. It was 3-0 after 33 minutes. This time Matt Walsh called out on where's left and uh, again trying to play the offside trap. Alex Marsh was too good for that. Went beyond the big number 17 and bars the number protected Freddie Burbage. 4-0 game after after 66 minutes, Dan Bond with his second of the game. Once more, where found wanting in the centre of defence, not dealing with a cross, and Fred Burbage with no chance. They did get the chance to uh, introduce two of their promising youth team, Gabriel Chaps and Tom Gay. Both came on and they both certainly did uh, reasonable jobs for uh, such uh, young players. In fact, Gab Chaps was uh, probably nearest to where scoring when he curled one just past the post very shortly after coming on. So uh, that's full time here at uh, the Eyrie. As I was saying earlier, I think uh, anywhere supporters, Paul Halsey, Joe O'Brien and the rest of them will not want to see the A603 to Bedford again because uh, that's 11 goals they've conceded in uh, just uh, two games here. They lost 7-1 against Bedford, of course, and this afternoon they have lost by four goals to nil against uh, Biggles Wade. Just going to try and see if we can find out what uh, happened with Welling Golden City playing at uh, North Lee. And I can tell you, at the moment anyway, 
Um, they're still playing there, but it's good news for the citizens. A good result for them if they hold this one off. Northley won, Welling Garden City won. So uh, well done to uh, Welling Garden City so far. Fingers crossed they can uh, hold on uh, to that one. I'll just, uh, if I can, find out for you who you, uh, scored the goal for uh, Mark Weatherston's team. As, uh, looking at it here. It's not actually obvious he's mentioned there. We take the lead through Cyrus Babai. So Cyrus Babai in his fourth appearance back in the Welling Golden City shirt has scored the goal there at uh, North Lee. Picturesque ground at North Lee. Always like going there at uh, Cyrus's goal at the moment anyway. That's the score at North Lee 1, Welling Golden City 1. If there was any good news for where then uh, probably come from that because uh, North Lee was second they've dropped points they'll be my next engagement in Southern League Division 1 Central because this time next week we'll be at the Smile IT Simon will be back the half time sequence will be back will there be Muppets well we have to wait and see on that one but hopefully we will uh, talk to you again on Wednesday evening Big night for Wales youth team. Come on, you wear young boys. They will be playing at home to Gillingham in the first round of the FA Youth Cup. And we will be live from 6.55. Hope to have your company then. Thanks for your company this afternoon. Don't forget to put your clocks back. And I'll leave you with a victorious Biggleswade side as they approach us. Because the final score at the Erie was Biggleswade 4, where nil.